ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and it's time I updated you with my roster here. We're going to do a roster update video, the 8 million roster special, beginning of 2024 roster special. However, you want to look at this one, the 8 million talent beginning of 2024 roster special, all is one thing. Now, one thing I'll note, actually two things I'll note. Jim Neidhart Hall of Fame and Rey Mysterio Hall of Fame are not mine. They were added to my account to make preview videos, but I was on vacation, so I never actually made the videos. Um, yeah, so they'll be removed. So we'll just ignore them. Everything else is mine. Here we go. Look at that. The top spot on my entire roster, the great Cali. Oh, I shouldn't click on people. The roster screen doesn't work very great on the portal currently, so we're going to ride this out the best we can. So, I have a lot of silvers up top here. Now, six-star bronze that have their stars filled in and max levels will rank above uh, some of the other six-star silvers. So, this isn't just all of my silvers, but you can see Cali in my trickster slot. Hall of Fame Sean here is a showboat. Sean and Brett both. Now, I have other acrobat and showboat six star silvers so these are just hall of fame people because they're easier to bring up because the tokens are separate so you will see a lot of hall of fame people up high on my roster just for that reason so i have cali and hogan for tricksters hogan's more my go-to but just because i uh Oh, that actually worked pretty smooth because I'm running the veer plate with the dead man sigil. Everybody always asks about my Hogan. So if you run this combination of skill plates really on anybody who can break black gems, uh, you're going to be good to go. So um, those in conjunction there, if you break the black gems, this will make X break gems. Then this one, if you break the X break gems, you'll deplete your opponent's MP. So that makes Hollywood really good for me in all game modes, basically. So that's why I built him up so high. But Kali I had before that. Kali is my faction boss specialist. He's absolutely amazing for faction boss. If you've got an all heart plate on him, his damage will just keep stacking and stacking and stacking. Um, actually, actually really good. Same thing with Hall of Fame Sean. He's the number one yellow shield breaker to me. So, uh, another faction boss specialist. Now, Rocky. Rocky76. Why did I bring him to silver? Because he's my drip plate holder. He's my drip plate holder. So, with the drip plate, you're going to be stun locking people and rocking 20 million damage. So, he's another, like, auto win, basically. I have a few people that I can just go to that are like, I can attack anybody and feud with them and they're going to win. So, um, Hall of Fame Taker up here. I got a Titan plate on him. So, he's another one really, really good for faction boss. He's my exhaust guy. Uh, Kali's my unfreeze guy. Taker is my exhaust guy. And then Dom here, Zombie Dom, he's my helping hand guy. Level 10 helping hand. So more silvers down there. Dom is my tech. Uh, no females up this high on the roster. They didn't make it up to the, the top screen here. But if this little line wasn't there, Shotzi would have made it. Uh, Shotzi actually would be up there because these two shouldn't be on my roster anyways. But Terry Funk, I actually pulled a fuse for and just did the zero to max or whatever, like max level for uh, faction contest. So that's why he's up so high. I don't really use him too much at the time being because I usually use Rocky for my striker stuff, but I'm sure I'll get into him soon enough. Uh, I got to get his moves leveled up all the way like the rest of them. I think I have one move set unlocked. Same thing with Lashley, got a fuse up, so uh, put the levels into him. I don't think I'm going any higher with him. Tech Sammy, I am going to bring silver because I love Tech Sammy. So, enough said there. He will be going up. Ultimate Warrior was the first ever person that I put Max Coin into at 6 star. And I just don't use him for nothing at this point. He is so far in the rear view. I got KO here. Still haven't brought KO to silver. Man, people get upset when they see that. But I just never seen the rush because uh, he puts out so much damage at bronze. I didn't need to. Uh, Shotzi, probably my top damage output female right there. She's actually amazing. I got the Cody plate on her. And she's rocking and rolling that yellow gem damage. 
Zombie Dom again. He's uh, if you let him get his moves off without a hitch, he will beat anybody in one cycle. Uh, but there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Ridge, Ridge, I brought up. I still like Ridge a lot. He still slaps, still slaps. So uh, not disappointed at all. And plus, he is uh, necessary to go to six bronze if you're favoring Ghostbuster Cena. So. Uh, Finn Balor, mistakes were made. All right, sometimes I do things for fun. Uh, Our Truth here, actually really good. I just recently got him, but he's really good. He's another one that I just I took him from level one to max level six star bronze all in one shot for a faction contest. Uh, see, I still got a line of silvers down here with hollow stars, so their talent just sits lower. But Ghostbuster Cena, that's probably my main dude still in all game modes in. He's one charge. He puts out enough damage for it to be fast enough for me. But he's my guy. Like, when I do a feud lineup, I just save it for, like, okay, who am I scared of? Who do they got that's low charge or, like, that I need to beat quickly like that? Um, yeah, because I can wipe their MP every single turn with the Eyes of Judgment plate. So, uh, Roxanne up there. So I'm trying to get females in every class now at six star silver. So I have an acro. I have a striker. I have a trickster here in hall of fame, China. I don't, Oh, I do got some more silvers down here. Liv and Nikita lions is my newest six star silver female. No more female silvers. Okay. I was working on Bianca, so I wasn't sure. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's some more Hall of Fames. Again, you'll start seeing Hall of Fames at Six Star Bronze. That's kind of my jam. I bring them all up to Six Star Bronze if I can. Uh, super impressed. Roxanne, she's actually fantastic. No regrets bringing her to silver. Hall of Fame Kurt, I have both gears. He's my real lead striker. I forgot about uh, Rocky's up there, but Rocky and Kurt are both just phew, super, super good. Logan Paul, actually really good, too. I use him for a lot of things. Um, if you get any kind of boost to multiply gems or purple gems, he's your dude. Uh, where are we at here? Walter? I might bring him up. You never know. You never know. I have a level 10 helping hand on him too. So, uh, RVD, I was thinking about bringing him up to silver. Just for like a showdown guy, honestly. Because of the low charge stuff. Um... Big E is my secret project here, the man he faces. I'm working on some there. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Cody Rhodes, I got another silver way down here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness gracious, Cody. We got to get that talent up. But he's another one of my go-tos with that triple sub build. He is my submission specialist. I run all vitality medals on him. I run him very annoying. Uh, <laughs> Grayson Waller is going to take over being my lead showboat. I'm building him all the way up to the moon right now. Everybody else in this area, I would say I'm pretty content with where they're at. Uh, there you go. Some more crappy Hall of Fames at Six Star Bronze. But hey, I'm going to bring them all there. I'm going to bring them all there. Everybody else here. Dom, it's possible I'll take Acro Dom to silver. Again, showdown specialist. So you got to have, with rotating uh, requirements on showdown, I feel like you got to have a lot of showdown specialists. Okay, let's see. Oh, I got another six star down there. A couple of them. Farouk, I really like Farouk. He's still on the rise. Priest is on the rise. Braun, I'll build eventually. Let's see. Everybody else here, I'm pretty content with. Sting is, uh, <laughs> that's another one of my little hidden projects there. I'm working on him. Don't worry about it. I actually thought I could do more with him than I could at six star. He's not good. So, mistakes were made, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, Theory needs to get some more work put into him. More Hall of Fames. These are all now, like, we're getting in that range of people where, like, it was probably just a lot of fuse ups that I pulled and then whatever. I don't know. Luger, I think I did use tokens to build some of them. Maybe then you get into my 21 K training and coaching abilities here. You'll start seeing that's what most of these people represent here. 21 K training and coaching abilities or shitty hall of fames that I'm still building up. Then you get into my, five star golds that when five star gold was a thing were my top dudes like steamboat man i was excited to have him at five gold and cesaro uh they got meted out 
early. Gunther's new. He's on the rise. I'm actually not really liking using him too much. He probably gets a better at six star, hopefully. More shitty Hall of Fames. Man, we got 488 superstars, so it's a lot to scroll through. It's a lot. I got bottlenecks on my my gold S plus tier Hall of Fames. Bottleneck on tokens that I'm happy that I'll be able to push past now. So I will have some decisions to make there. But I have learned that you have to be very, very picky on that. So my S plus tiers, um, that's coming soon. Who I'm going to build there. I don't really see anybody else on the rise. Almost, I feel like I should build higher. Uh, Rock, I wouldn't be mad at. Rock can put some damage out at five silver even, so. Um, Mosh is pretty good. I wouldn't mind building him a little bit more. Uh, Oblivion here. Oh, Bronson Reed. I got to get my boy Bronson Reed, and I got to get Rock or Sean going a little more, so. We got a few hidden gems here in the middle of the roster. Uh, again, Hall of Fame Macho Man, I'd been waiting on tokens, so I'm happy to be able to start building him now. And then there's a lot of people here that are like, yeah, some of these people are good and I can put a little more work into them, but are they better than the people that I said I was working on already? You know what I mean? So you hit a range where a lot of, I kind of wait until requirements come out and I build people for that. So like, you know, can a zombie undertaker be really good yeah but is he better than the acro projects that i'm already working on probably not i mean Lo i'd build logan paul over him 10 days out of 10 so i'm not upset about that and then you get into the oldies the oldies that man it'd be funny to see all these people built up high i don't really see anybody else here that's much worth like a big jump you might see a few in there like this i don't know if striker andre is even good anymore or not i'd have to i'd have to play around delo there we go delo that's savagely underrated on my roster right there he needs to get built 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 if anything just for faction boss uh that tori that she's brand new tori hall of fame was pretty good Everybody else here is just kind of standard cannon fodder. Get into that 5k trainers and then that's it. And then that's it. I have two fodders left on my roster completely. I have one three-star bronze left. Man. The rarity at the bottom of my roster now is, is building up here, so... We have barely anybody under three-star gold left. I should do a night where I take everybody to four-star so I don't have any three-star superstars left. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But uh, that's it. That's the bottom of my scroll. 488 superstars, I believe it was. So, man, what a journey. And uh, we'll check in when we hit nine mil, maybe. And until next time, peace. <laughs>